All right, we are only nine weeks away from the midterm races, and key Senate matchups now are beginning to take shape. Republicans now are on the rise. That includes in Georgia, Herschel Walker. Polls now have this race neck and neck. The last two polls have Herschel up over Raphael Warnock, and the Senate may very well be decided by the state of Georgia. By the way, incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock has agreed to finally debate Herschel Walker, an offer in Savannah that was made. That'll happen in October. And here's the latest ad from the Walker campaign laying out just what is at stake in the great state of Georgia. Take a look. I do absolutely agree that it's racist. It is a redux of Jim Crow in a suit and tie. America has a long history of systemic racism. You ain't black. America has a pre-existing condition. It's called racism. Senator Warnock believes America is a bad country full of racist people. I believe we're a great country full of generous people. Warnock wants to divide us. I want to bring us together. I'm Herschel Walker. I approve this message. I guess the polls are bringing out the Senate candidates for the Democrats because uh, in Pennsylvania tonight, John Fetterman has now agreed to debate Dr. Mehmet Oz. So will the phony, spoiled, socialist, tr trust fund brat in a hoodie, is he going to follow through? And by the way, for both states, debates need to take place before a single vote is even cast. That's only fair for voters. Here now is Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker. Before I get to what changed in the dynamics, Raphael Warnock supports court packing, uh, an end to cash bail. Uh, he was involved in a youth camp uh, kid abuse scandal, uh, didn't want the police to interview the people involved. He's praised Farrakhan. He's praised Reverend Jeremiah Wright. Uh, he's compared the police to thugs and gangsters. He wants to get rid of fossil fuels. He wants CRT in our schools. He said the opioid crisis is only an issue because it's impacting uh, people that are white and suburban. Um, the guy also, by the way, has a problem paying, neglecting his children and failing to pay child care expenses. Uh, his ex-wife claimed he ran over uh, her in a domestic dispute. And I can keep going on. How, how is this race even close? Because uh, the monitoring of media down in Georgia seems to have been negative against you, but now your message seems to be penetrating with recent polls. What happened? Well, the reason why, Sean, is I'm getting out meeting the people, and uh, I'm talking to the people, and the people are speaking. You know, they've spent over $50 million against me, but the race is still tied. I'm up by one, and the reason why is that people want to change in Washington. Senator Warnock is a cut from the cloth of Joe Biden, and what I mean by that is he believe in higher taxes. He believe in open borders. He voted to put men and women's sports. And that's not what the Georgia people want. The Georgia people want someone they can trust, and they can trust in Herschel Walker. So no matter what, he's not going to uh, talk anything. The media is not going to say anything positive about me. But I've done a lot of positive things. He's done a lot of negative things. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about his record as a senator. As a senator, he hasn't done a good job. And it's time for someone else to take that seat back for the people, because that people belong to the, uh, to the, that seat belongs to the people of Georgia. What percentage of the time does Raphael Warnock vote with Chuck Schumer and with Joe Biden? It is 96 percent of the time, 96 percent of the time, and, and he don't even want to campaign with Joe Biden now. He's trying to distance himself from it, but he can't. He can't distance himself. Because he's, he's just, like I say, he cut from that same cloth of Joe Biden. I've called him a wolf in sheep's clothing. He pretends he's trying to help you when he's there all the time. He's continuing to hurt you. You've seen that the people here are hurting from the uh, economy. The people here are hurting from the crime. But yet he's profited while he's been in office. And, you know, if, if anyone is going to hurt, well, it should be the well, leaders. Doubled his, not the people profit. that put you in office. He doubled his income, Herschel. Oh, How no, do you he double profited. your income as a politician? Uh, and this is, this is, he's only been in, in Washington for a little bit, and now his income has gone up. And now you said that he wanted to debate me, but he hadn't completely said he wanted to debate. He still have a couple of things. He said, oh, if you do this, if you do that, why don't he just show up on October the 14th for a fair and equitable debate that's about the people so the people can see the contrast between the two of us. And I want why people to why continue they because they're going to continue to raise money. I want to know why well, they won't debate so before uh, a single vote is cast with early voting. 
Well, I can tell you the reason why. It's, it's like a game for them. They've been raising money, and that's why I tell people to go to teamherschel.com and let's raise this money so we can get them into a debate because all they want to do is put negative ads out there because they can't win on the issues. They can't win on the issues, and now since they see that the polls are changing, they're being told by their people, hey, you got to debate, you got to debate, where well, he's still putting criteria in it. And I'm telling him to put his big man pants on, show up in Savannah, Georgia, on October the 14th, <laughs> let's debate, and people can see the contrast between, between the two of us. Well, the only problem is with these late debates, a lot of people will have voted by then. That's to me, is a problem. I think debates should take place before a single vote is cast. Uh, but I will be watching. We are looking forward to it. Congratulations on your recent poll uh, surging. I think this could be the race that decides the balance of power in the Senate. Uh, Herschel, uh, we wish you the best.